Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today I'm going to show you how to make little buttons or little labels or whatever you want to jump between the different records in your, let's say, customer table by the first letter of their name. So you click on the M button, it jumps to the first M customer and so on. All right, you want to go to A, click A, takes you up to the A's, takes you to the, to the M's, takes you to the R's. Same, just like that. I just did these three. You could do as many as you want. Today's question comes from Dana in Arlington, Virginia, one of my Platinum members. But I get asked this all the time. In fact, someone just posted in my forums today about a similar question. So a lot of times that's when the video gets made is when I start seeing the same questions over and over again and I don't already have a video for it. So Dana says, I got a big, long customer list and I'm using a continuous form to view them all. Is there a quick way to make a button to jump to a specific letter in the alphabet, like maybe A through Z buttons or something. I've seen them on websites. Can you do this in Access too, instead of having to use this fine box, the, the Control F fine box? Well, yeah, Dana, let me show you how to do it. And yes, for those of you who are regular viewers, my voice is a little hoarse today. Sorry about that. <laughs> Before we get started, this is going to be a developer level video, but don't panic. We only need a, like two lines of code, right? Uh, to do what we need to do. But if you haven't watched my intro to VBA video, go watch this first. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started in about 20 minutes. Also, go watch my video on the on click event. That's what we're going to use in today's video. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you'd like to. And on here, I've got a customer list. I've only got 30 so customers, but we can pretend we've got, you know, 30,000 customers in here. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that this list is sorted somehow. Uh, whether it's first name, last name, doesn't matter. But let's come in here. I'm going to sort by first name. Okay. And now we can make a button to jump to whatever particular letter we want to pick. And also, real quick, what I'm going to do is go into design view and go to the forms properties and make sure that order by onload is set to yes. This way, it'll keep that sort the next time I open up the form. Now, the user can change this, all right? So toward the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to resort it when you click on your button. But let's make the buttons first. All right, put them wherever you want. You can put them up top. You can put them on the bottom. I'm going to stick them up top up here. I'm going to move these labels down. And you can use buttons. You could use labels. I like to use labels, all right? Copy, paste. And we'll just make a couple of different labels here. I'll make one for A, like you saw a minute ago, right? And let's make them bigger. All right, 16 point, bold, maybe a light blue, whatever. All right, so there's my A label. All right, you can come over here, give it a good name. You don't have to, but right, A label or whatever. All right, we'll do A, comma, comma, copy. It's the cough meds. <laughs> A and then we'll do M and then we'll do, let's go to R. All right, so this will be the R label or the M label and the R label. Do you have to name them? No, you don't have to name them, but it's better if you do. Long run, long run. Or else Alex will come to your house and yell at you. All right, so let's start with the code for the A button. Click on the A button, come over here to events and find the on click event. This will happen whenever you click on that label, right? Hit the dot, dot, dot button. That'll open up your VB editor and you can right away see that you're in the A level click, right? Instead of label 52 click or whatever. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have access move to the first name field. Let's pretend we're sorting on first name, right? Um, first name field. And then we're going to issue a find record command to find the first letter that starts, or the first customer that starts with A. So we're going to do command dot go to control. What's the name of the control? First name. All right, so now the focus is sitting on the first name field. Now we're going to find a record that starts with the letter A. So it's do command dot find a record. I got a bunch of parameters here. In fact, let me slide this over. You can see all these parameters. There's a lot of them. You just got to know what they all do. They're not that hard. All right, find what? What are you looking for? I'm looking for the letter A, comma. Now, the match is either the entire field has to be this value 
or it could be anywhere in this value, right? The A could be any character, or it has to be at the start. I like that one. Let's have it so that it's going to start with that letter. Makes sense, right? That's what we're trying to find. Okay, comma, match case. Does it matter if it's uppercase or lowercase? Nah, I'll say false. That's a true false value. All right, next up, search direction. Which direction do you want to search? Up from the current location, down from the current location, or search the entire list? Let's go search the entire list. AC search all, comma, search as formatted. As that string is formatted, this really doesn't matter for this one because we're searching for letters and or numbers. I'll put false in here as well. Only current field. Do you want to search in all of the fields? First name, last name, address, whatever, or just the current field? I want just the current field. And then finally, find first. Do you want to find the first record or find the next record? I want to find the first one. I want to jump to the first A person, so I'll say true. All right, that's another one of my notes for the access team. I wish they'd put in there what these types are. Like, that's a true false value, a Boolean. And put the default value in there, too. All right? All right. So that should do it right there. That's all we need. Go to the right field and then find the record. Okay. Save it. Let's throw in a debug compile for good measure. All right. Let's go over to our database. We move this out of the way just a little bit. Let's close this. Open it back up again. Hit the A. And okay, I'm already sitting on A. This is Alex is first. Let's slide down a little bit. Let's pretend I'm down here on Malcolm Reynolds. I'll hit A. And there we go. It jumped right up there. That's nice. All right, that's working. All right, let's do M. All right, back to design view. Find the M on click event right there. Okay, I'm down a little bit further here. Let me move this up so you can see it. Right down here in the M click. Now, you know what? You know what? I don't want to, I mean, you could copy this code and paste it in here, but I don't like having duplicates of the same code everywhere, right? If I do that, now I got here. Now, if I want to make a change, right? If I've got 26 of these or 36 with all the numbers, if I want to make a change to how this works, I got to change it in 36 different places. So I don't want to do that. All right, we're going to make one subroutine that's going to handle all of this. So I'm going to get rid of that. Let's come up here. I'm going to say private sub. We're going to call it jump to. All right, and it's going to take one bit of information. Let's say S as a string. So we're going to send to it some value S, which is the letter that we're jumping to, right? So now we're going to take all of this code here, we're going to cut that out, and we're going to paste it in here. And now all we have to do is change this from an actual letter A. We're not looking for the letter A anymore. We're looking for S, whatever is sent into this subroutine. Make sense? Okay. Now I can come down here and say jump to A, right? I can come down here and say jump to A. M, right? And this will send the M up to the jump to code. And then it does the same thing. Ready, save it, debug compile. Always good to throw in a debug compile. Doesn't hurt, doesn't, doesn't take much time, right? All right, close it, open it, ready, M, right there. A, back up to A, okay? Isn't that cute? Let's do R. Now, we could take this one step further. And I have a whole separate video on this. We can make this an event handler function, right? Change it from a sub to a function. Now, normally functions return a value, but they don't always have to. But if you want to do this trick, you got to make it a function. Okay. Now get rid of the label click here. We don't need it there. Get rid of it down here. That M, we don't need it there. Now watch what you can do. Since this is now a function, I can come over here, go to A, on click, I can say in here equals jump to A, just like that. Here, I'll zoom in so you can see it better, right? Equals jump to A, just like that. It'll call that function with that value and do the thing. Do the same thing with M, right? Instead of that, you'll put an M in here, though, okay? And then for R, you come in here and you put an R in there. This is a neat little trick. I was an Access developer for years before they added this trick. <laughs> And then when I read about it, I'm like, what? Because then you got to, it avoids having 26 or more little tiny subroutines in your code. It makes this a whole lot more difficult to read. Okay, save it, close it, open it. Let's go to R, boom, let's go to M, boom, A. Okay, isn't that cute? 
And now you just got to add whatever letters you want in here. If you got lots and lots of people, well, add more. You could also do this with a combo box if you want. Make a combo box, a value list combo box, and put all the letters in that. Then they can just pick a letter. Boom, it'll jump. You don't have to have individual labels like this or buttons. You could do it in a list box. You could do it in a combo box. You could put a text field there if you really wanted to and just have them type in what they're searching for. Now, I mentioned earlier that if your user comes in here and puts a sort on, now you kind of broke your buttons, right? Because if I click M, it's going to go to the first M, but now all the M's aren't together. So what we're going to do is in our code, we're going to set what the sort is at that point. All right, so come back to your code. And right here, before we even do anything, we're going to say me.orderBy equals, what do you want to order it by? Let's go first name, comma, last name. All right, that way all the last names are in, in order after the first name. So if you got three Marys, you'll get Mary, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then don't forget to make sure it's on. Me.orderBy on equals true, because you can turn sort on and off. All right, so that sets the order by, turns it on, and then runs your code. Okay? And now, if I hit my R, it fixes the sort and then goes to R. M, right? See, if I sort it by any other field, customer sense. Right? If I hit M, it fixes the sort and then jumps right there. See that? See how cute? Isn't that nice and easy? If you like learning this stuff, stop by my website. I got tons of developer lessons available. I think I'm up to developer 45 now. So we're doing customizing the ribbon. Lots of cool stuff. But that's going to do it for today, folks. I'm off to make some tea and get some throat lozenges. But that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. 
Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members Get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.